guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video we'll be discussing how to get a grade one in csec information technology if this topic interests you don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and without further ado let's get right into today's video okay so information technology is the subject of the day right so how do we pass it essentially so in this video, I'm basically going to be sharing how I got my grade one and hopefully that method also works for you. So I did um, IT kind of, kind of in COVID. I did do a paper one and a paper two and my SBAs, right? I did five SBA. Um, how them go again, the word processing, um, the programming one, the database one, um, the Excel one and the web page design. So I did all five SBAs. Okay, so if you want to get that grade one, the first thing before getting into the exam, your SBA them need to finish. Do not say, oh, me do three of them already, me do two of them already, me do one of them already, me don't even do the rest. Like for me at the time, me say, why would I have so much SBA for the one IT? Right? Why we have so much SBA? Why we have so much um work for submit for the one IT? Right? That was actually my concern at the time because me I said me don't want this much SBA. But regardless, if you want to get that grade one, the SBA them have to be done. They have to be done and done properly. Right? So I did get high on my um SBAs. The, no, the grade them never low for my um SBA them, right? Because I actually knew if not all of them, I knew most of the grades. Um for my SBAs before going into the IT exam, right? So you have a good SBA, you do all your SBA, then you your programming, your web, your web, your web page design, um, the database, Excel, everything done, right? Cool. Now let's get to the exam aspect of passing, not only passing, but getting a great word information technology. For me personally, I'd say the paper one was not a challenge. The paper one was not a challenge, and I don't think I did as much um, paper one like practice papers as what I did for the other subjects. For me, it was fairly easy. The paper one for information and technology was kind of easy to me in my year. Let's just say that. Like, me never that bust my brain too hard because, like, what I think about that paper one is that you see, if you were actively paying attention during the school year, grade 10 and 11, in your IT class, you can answer the question on the paper one. Like, it's simple something. But what I recommend is doing past papers for the paper one because the questions will repeat. Everybody know this by now. And so I got um, past papers. Now, I said this before, you know, we don't like print paper because a lot of money that we have print in a circle, right? So what I did was on YouTube, um, his YouTube channel is Make IT Simple make it simple tt right so he's an information technology teacher and he actually has past papers on his channel like even when i was doing my sba and you know like trace tables and those stuff may not even really understand what i'm going there so i'm here tell us yeah i'm gonna go on right we go on him channel and i say oh but this man explained some of the topics them that are in um the it syllabus so if there's a particular um, topic within the IT syllabus, um, probably check him channel, go through it and see if you have a look up video on him, come here tell you say. When I was doing that, um, the last SBA for me at the time, programming, the programming one, and the one that got Pascal and something, 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 my head never really fully grasped Pascal, you get me, I say. And I went on his channel and I saw I was able to finish my IT SBA, if you get what me, I say. Yeah, so that's what I did. Now, aside from that now, his channel him have um, some topics relating to the syllabus, relating to how to get the SBA done, him have the past papers them, right? And he those are what I watched because as me say me on the time to sit down and I circle now. So I watch those videos, watch the past papers and all of that. Right, cool, but there's another YouTube channel also called Think C C Sec. Think C Sec, yeah, and it's not just information technology and think C Sec. I know they have biology. And maybe HSB or yeah, but I think them have a social studies about think this think 
Seasick is also another option. I think it's amazing. So I think Seasick is also another option. So guys, this is for me. You have no excuse because there are resources. If you feel like you cannot understand something, go on YouTube and write it in. Because all right, at the time, no, you know, I was trying to use Google, you know, but Google really helped me. So you have to look for the IT teacher on YouTube who go through the specific stuff relating to the specific CSEC IT syllabus, right? Because yes, Google might have some things on it, right? But Google information cannot mix up. You want the stuff that's geared directly to IT, CSEC information technology. And so that was what I did. I did um, make IT simple. I do use his channel and I use Think CSEC, right? Cool, we'll get that password. Then we had, I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna pass you my paper one and all of that. Right? Cool. Now for the paper two, I'm not trying to lie now, and the paper two, as I said from before going into the exam, that um, my pro the programming aspect of the um, IT syllabus was where I was challenged the most. And I'd say that that was probably the only question on the paper too that challenged me. Everything else, my answer quick and fast and move on. But when it came to the back part of the paper, and so to me, wanna please go and like see how our paper two set up because like literally the past papers or paper two that I saw, like it's not the exact exact question, but it's like the same type of question come in that order. If you get what me saying, like for example, if on the in the on the paper tools right the past papers them you realize that them always put a programming question at the back you might not get back the exact programming question but it's very similar to what was there the previous year so if you forget what me and say so look at the past papers or paper two you're not get the chance that you're getting back the exact question exact exact down to the t question mm -hmm. but the layout of the CSEC paper, the layout is usually the same. Like, it's usually the same. Like, what you see, like, as I know that I saw a past paper, paper too, with a programming question at the back. And as somebody kind of pick up, say, okay, the programming question are always there at the back. And although it's not the exact question, it gives me an idea if you know, say, listen, programming I got did it no matter what. If you get what I'm saying. And in terms of like definitions and stuff for the paper too. All if, listen, all if you don't go in there with a um, scripted definition, as long as you don't pay attention to the class and you did do your SBA then because some of the stuff them once you do your SBA, it would have come up. You get me saying? You can make up a little definition. Because you know, like sometimes we know what it is, you know, but the words, man, the words. We don't know it word for it like what the teacher have it, but we know what it is. So, yeah. Literally, guys, that's all you need to do. Definitions, as long as you pay attention, you can make up something. And teacher can't tell us you're not psycho. They can't tell us you're not psycho. But identify your weak ear before going to the exam. Because I mean, tell us, me didn't know how many weak from programming. Right? Before going into the exam, me didn't know that. So, me have to do something about that, right? And, um, for my, I don't remember the exact profiles for my IT exam, but. Based on what I saw for the profiles, I could tell that the reason why I never got a distinction was because of that programming section at the back. So, yeah, identify your weak area because, like, they have the um, the look of mark scheme when you get your certificate, you'll see. But that's where I fell down on it because I'm sure what I'm right for the programming so they never 100%. But it didn't make enough sense to me at the time. So I mean I say this close enough to how it should look. And so I think it was because of that uh, programming section that we never got distinction but we still walk with the one so I'm not complain. But guys identify your weak areas. If anyone you know, said it was the database act, um aspect you just never understand you should have just go deal with that. Don't go in an exam and say hopefully them not put that question there. Do not do that. Don't go hope they not put that question there. All if you never fully grasp it, know something on it. Know something and I'm going to exam completely blank and I don't know about that topic there. Okay? Don't know that. So I know that there are actually eight um a modules that I call it for IT. You have fundamentals of hardware and software, program solving and program design, 
program implementation, applications and implications of information and communications technology. We have information processing, word processing and web page design. And then we have spreadsheets, database management. For me, database number two are spreadsheets. Made the spreadsheets from grade eight, so that never had that it too much. But if you know, say like the programming, where them start do. If you know, say that I mash up a deal with it. If you know it was the web page um, aspect that you never fully grasp, go deal with it. Do not go in the exam and hope say them not put a question on it. Like you are lessening your chances by just doing that. So don't just leave it up to chance like that. You get me some? But basically, being a good SBA grade in that you submitted all five SBAs. Ensure that you are paying attention during the school year, but let's just say you weren't paying attention during the school year. Let's just say that you never hear nothing the teacher say from school year start. What you need to do now, you need to go learn, learn the material before the exam. It's that simple. You probably have to go pull some all nighters, you have to go burn some past papers, you have to go make the sacrifice because you never you never learn until the school year. So, can't go into the exam blank and say, oh well, that doesn't make sense. So. That's what you need to do. You have to burn some all nighters and don't listen to me. Enough people pass the exam and them never learn until the school year. So don't feel like oh it's too late. Just get started. Don't feel like it's too late. Just get started. If you never learn nothing, now is the time. You hear me say? Because even if even if it was like um the night before the exam, you can still get get one or two something the night before the exam. It's better than you going in your blank. Do not go in your blank blank blank. No 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 no. So, if you never learn nothing, just get started. Find a little corner, find a quiet room, sit down upon the floor, come out of the bed, no go into the bed, go upon the floor, go out of the door, go something, just to sit down with the book. Sit down, sit down, um, get your laptop or your phone and go up on YouTube, writing the make IT simple, TT, or writing think CSEC, information technology. If there's a particular topic, write it. If you're, right, if you're not a reader like that, Try YouTube, you know, writing, program design, see if I can see if somebody writing programming or something, see if programming and see if somebody have a video on it. You get what I say? Writing it and see donuts blanking at the exam, or if it was a web page design, go on YouTube and check. Go and check if, if there is a video or see a video specifically for that because the truth is that. Some of we can't do the bag of reading, can't do the bag of reading. We will probably just better watch something and listen. If you know you're like that, no waste your time in the book like that. If you know, say, you're going to sit down five hours and you're still upon the same paragraph. Mm -mm. Don't do that. So check if there's somebody on YouTube who don't, who have the video then. The chance is kind of more higher nowadays than before. Like before, you have to read the book. But listen to me. You see when me stress out, I'm tired of the book, and YouTube may check. YouTube may check and see if somebody have a video. It was chemistry, physics, biology. When me tired of the book, I did YouTube because the truth is that sometimes reading, reading like auto and textbook, is actually time consuming. So you have to mix up the studying. Don't just say I read the book all the way. Watch a video with a teacher explain something because sometimes you no, know, we can read the book all the way reading. You know? But then when you watch the video, the teacher will tell you something about the book. Then I tell you say, and the same question go book in an exam, right? So guys, you just have to ensure so you do all of your SBA them, have a good SBA grade, know you do your past papers for the paper one, and you know so you're fully equipped for the paper two, and when you'll be fully equipped, you finish the syllabus. No, the truth is that, no, for we not finish this, so I'm sorry, like, I don't even, I don't know if me even finish the syllabus for IT, you know, but me just know so me get the main things I'm going to get from what I So, just ensure, say, you Get your syllabus or get the broad um something there. The same modules them I know so you know something on that each. Make sure you know something about spreadsheets, something about database, practice some as a matter of fact, practice some questions for the paper too. Because them love give they love give these like a tables I didn't ask you for like the formula for the spreadsheet. There's something equal some blah blah how you find the total of blah 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 blah. Them love to that. And they might give you a, a picture and database and just do some practice questions. Do some practice questions and I'm sure you guys can pass. You have a good SBA grade. You're going there fully equipped with your past papers by going over your notes, reading, watching videos. Guys, IT can be passed with a grade one. And you can't even get a distinction. So come on. You can't even get a distinction. So just believe in on yourself. 
exam the right lesson but guys you need to prepare prepare get the work done guys just don't feel discouraged just do your half it all and i wish all you guys the best on your exams <laughs>